Hello YouTube, Reseller Mom here. Welcome to today's video. Today is Friday, TGIF, April 7th, 2023. Yesterday was my birthday, so thank you all that said happy birthday to me in the online groups. And Tuesday was Tina's birthday, so we've had a, we've had a busy week very busy week with with birthdays and stuff. I am taking next Thursday off. I am going deep sea fishing. So I'm excited about that. Uh, all right. So this is the weekly vlog, weekend review of the warehouse and just things going on. There's a lot going on in my life. Um, I like to share with you guys the good, the bad, the ugly goals, what's working, what's not working. And there's a lot, there's just a lot of little things going on this week that I wanted to convey to you guys to share with you what's going on. So first up, I've been working really hard on my schedule, optimizing my schedule, getting really good at uh, my bundles and optimizing bundles, optimizing my schedule, looking at tasks. Do I really need to do that tasks? Can I automate that task? All of those things. And those are really helping me mental, <laughs> mental. I am mental, uh, really helping me mentally um, focus on my goals. So when I'm looking at my tasks and I really say, does that line up with my goal? Okay, do I really need to do that? How, what's the frequency I need to do that? Really honing that in has uh, allowed me to kind of get organized, get my inventory under control, get my, my account and everything flowing in the way that I want it to flow. But I do have to say, one of the things that happened this week is my toilet was acting up. It was on and off, flushing and then not flushing. And I wound up spending a lot of time and some parts and things at Home Depot, got things fixed. But you could be sitting here optimizing and doing everything. But when you have something like that, that's a stop gap in your business, all the focus gets off of this and you have to go fix that. Whether it's the internet's out or you have a fire or your kid gets sick or you get hit by a car or whatever. It could be any sort of emergency. It does disrupt, disrupts the flow. The flow was really bad here this week. Disrupts the flow in both your schedule and the water going down. So had to stop and kind of get that fixed before I could move on to other things. And that's part of life. It sucks. It definitely sucks. My other option was to call the plumber. And the last time I called the plumber on this place, it was a $1,200 bill. So my butt was going to Home Depot and getting some supplies to fix it myself. Now I do have a background in maintenance, so it's not like I'm not a noob in the plumbing. I have ripped apart my bathroom to studs and rebuilt it. So I, I do have some knowledge on building things. And I was a maintenance supervisor for many years at a, a place. So I do know some mechanical things. Anyhow, if you don't know what you're doing though, you may want to get somebody to help or find somebody to help. Other things going on this week, we had, uh, my dog is doing better, but Tina's cat's not doing well. Sending her some love there. I had, let's see here, first of the month. I've got my notes on my little screen here. First of the month was last Saturday. I came in and did inventory on Saturday while my daughter went to the mall. I picked up my I picked up an online order that was ordered to a store, dropped my daughter at the mall, got inventory done in two hours. I was really happy with that. With all of my cleaning and organizing and streamlining, inventory went really fast. Uh, it kind of took me all of March to go through all of the pockets in this place and figure out what were the packers doing? Why is this sitting here? Why is this unorganized? putting cases back where they needed to go, et cetera, and getting that all up to speed. So next month it should go even quicker because as I hone down and I optimize the flow and the velocity of things coming in and things going out, we don't have piles of junk sitting around that need to be accounted for. Speaking of accounting, started my accounting 203 on Monday. Really liking that. It The first chapter is on classifying your expenditures as a business, how to classify your expenditures, where they should be going. So really liking that. I'm like, oh, this is super applicable to my business. Love, love, love that. What is going on? All right, let's talk about goals and packers. People keep asking me, have I hired packers yet? Have I hired packers yet? No, I'm not. I'm not hiring packers yet. I ain't gonna hire packers yet. I am not ready to hire packers yet. One, I still have some I don't want to call it PTSD, but some, I need some mental space, more mental space between the last set and dealing with somebody new coming on. 
I really have spent the last five weeks cleaning up errors and issues from the last packers and dialing in my merchandise and my inventory. I goal, goal is to have different packing areas and have consistent bundles that sell X amount per month that I can say, all right, person A is going to be packing on a monthly consistency, 60 of this, 200 of this, 300 of this, 75 of this, and I can set up the ordering to flow and they know what they're packing coming in and they're gonna pack the same amount of, the same ASINs month over month and maybe you know, that will change a little bit. It always changes a little bit, right? But consistently having that flow go down. When I've hired in the past, my inventory was more retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, and it was more important for them to know how to process like clothes from Kohl's or Burlington, uh, that type of thing. I also need to kind of figure out how much supervision I want to have with them. I obviously want to hire people with better work ethic. And do I want to set them up with a task and then have them fill out like a production sheet. Like I started packing this at 12.02 and I finished 75 units at 12.03 just to have a layout of what they accomplished during the day. Or do I wanna sit out here and pack with them, have them only here while I'm packing and kind of be able to visually see what's going on. Uh, haven't worked all that out. I, you know, I got a lot of fine details that in my brain, I'm like, need to hammer this out before because I need to have a really good idea. I need to have more concrete on expectations and how it's going to be flowing. With that being said, both of my kiddos are thinking about picking up some hours in the summer to make some money. My daughter really needs to because she's expensive. She likes to go spend money really well. So yeah, my son is looking for internships in the summer. Depending on how that plays out, they may or may not pick some hours up for me. That helps the family out, that helps me out allows me to use them as guinea pigs for any of these SOPs that I'm thinking about and get that hammered out. So, anyhow, my point is, is that I'm not going to hire any packers right now. Definitely before Q4. If I hire anybody, it will be before Q4. I am just still kind of enjoying not having them here right now. Also, with that, I am saving between three and four thousand dollars a month. Now, I haven't. I'm. I'm going to hit my goal this week of six hundred and fifty. I'll, I'll hit more than six fifty going out. But I've been close to that every week since they've been gone, which tells me that if I can sell higher dollar items or better inventory and pack just a little less out from them, I'm making the same amount of money and I'm saving three to four thousand dollars in labor. Now that's not sustainable or, or growable, right? That I, I get that, I do have to hire packers in the future. But for right now, I am enjoying pocketing that three, $4,000, sucking it up for some longer shifts or, or you know the struggle of what I'm going through. But for three, $4,000 a month, it is worth it uh, for reasons we've already talked about. Getting my inventory under control, getting things streamlined, getting the velocity built up of my current bundles, working out some bugs in the system. When they were both here, it was, they just like to like shell problems out on my plate. And, and I think they got a kick out of irritating me some days. I, it felt like they got a kick out of it, but they would often come in and they're like, oh, we can't pack this. Oh, we can't pack that. Oh, we can't pack this. Oh, we got this problem. And at the end of the day, it's like, oh my God, I got rid of six problems, but 10 more got added to my plate. And now I've been able to take all those little problems, kind of wheedle them down to a manageable level, really look at my inventory and say, okay, this one's no longer profitable and, or not profitable enough. And this one is really just a pain in the butt to order, cut some of that slack out, focus on the higher dollar items, cut out my labor altogether and now that I've been working on that for five weeks, I'm really starting to see the fruits of all of that labor. And that is, makes me feel good and warm and fuzzy. I don't know how else to describe it. All right, last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is sales tax updates. Super excited about these. So first up, regular taxes, Fed taxes. My CPA got that finalized. She needed one more piece of paper this morning got that off to her, but we are looking at a very hefty tax return 
which will be nice. It's always nice when you get a fat check in the mail. Loving that. The second part, my sales tax with the state, I filed for remittance for all of the sales tax that I paid at stores that don't take my tax exempt certificate. And for 2019, 2020, 21, and 22, I'm looking at over $20,000 getting back from the state. This took the guy at the state mm, since mm, the end of January to process. Uh, he messaged me yesterday. He's like, I'm done processing. It's been submitted for whoever signs off on it. And he's going on vacation next week. When he gets back, he should be able to issue me the money. Yes, really loving that. Now, I have gotten questions on how do I do this? How do I do this? Because everybody would love to get a fat check back, right? I totally think you should. I'm in Washington. I do Washington taxes. I've been filing with Washington for years. You're allowed to file for the last four years. And those four years for me and the way my business is set up equates to over $20,000 that I paid in taxes to stores such as Target. I'm trying to think who else. Bath and Body charges me tax. Who else charges me tax? Ross charges tax. Burlington does not. But you get what I'm saying. The stores that you frequently shop at that charge tax. You have to do an insane amount of work. I don't want to downplay that at all. I have about a 23 page PowerPoint presentation that I walked through and documented so that I can now going forward do this on a quarterly basis and not back backdate all the years that I, I didn't do. But now that I'm caught up, I will do it on a quarterly basis. And I had to look at the state policy. I called the Department of Revenue. When you don't know, call them. They're nice. Most of them are nice. I, I've only had really good things to say about my state people. They can either direct you on who you need to talk to or a page that will outline it for you. It was really not intuitive. Our state website is set up a lot like Amazon. Nothing makes sense. <laughs> It's, uh, you don't know where to file things and the website UI is not really intuitive. It was difficult to say the least. Then I had to go through all of my receipts, tally up the stores, the store information. How much did I pay there? What did I pay in sales tax? Then you have to kind of sort that by zones. Every zip code has a zone tied to it for tax purposes. So the area code might be 98057, and that zone equates to 1492 in the tax code realm. I don't, can you tell, I don't know what I'm talking about really, I know how to do it. So don't ask me, please, you know, you can leave a comment that you were successful in your state or whatnot, but don't, don't ask me down below how to do this. Go to your Department of Revenue, just type in Google, Department of Revenue, state name, call them, Look at their policy, email them, ask them if you are a business and you have been purchasing without a tax exempt certificate and the goods were for resale, can you get that sales tax remitted to you? Is there a process for that? That's what it's called. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to that. That is a... Uh, definitely going to go towards some inventory and some bills and get lined up for this next Q4. Because really all we're doing right now is preparing for Q4, right? Unless if you're in Q4, you're preparing for Q4. There's two seasons. There's Q4 and there's preparing for Q4, right? Ah, okay, so that kind of lines up everything that's going on this week. I wrote down to kind of touch on for this video. For today, I am packing, packing, packing. I've already got over, well, 300 have already gone out. I have at least another 200 packed up right here that will go out today. And then hopefully get another 100 to 200 packed out for today. And then I will be making listings all weekend. I We bought at ASD, right? Bought a lot of good things at ASD. And a lot of those things showed up this week, which is great. It's great, but I've got a lot of listings to make. I got about 15 listings to make between today and tomorrow. Listings do not take me a very long time. They average between 10 minutes to an hour. 10 minutes if it's an easy child variation adding on one picture. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If it's a completely new bundle start from scratch and I have to do all the pictures myself, a little bit longer. But I make listings every week. Every, 
I wouldn't say every day. I try to do them kind of all in one day. This last week I made four, sorry, four and three, seven. And then today I gotta make another 15 or so, but really liking where that goes because I have less, less competition, more control, etc. Yeah, liking all that. I hope everybody is having a great week. Hope your toilet works great. Hope your animals are doing well. That's that's the big thing. Between my mom's dog passing, my dog getting hurt, Tina's cat and my best friend's dog getting hurt. It's been not a good not a good animal week. So I hope your animals are doing well. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below like always. If this video helps you out, I'd love a thumbs up. That helps my channel out. And uh, yeah, leave me any of your successes for the week. I would love to hear anything that you're working on or, you know, what's bogging you down. It just mine week over week, it changes. All right, guys, take care and have a great day.